followed the spirit in you so situations will be like that but you are watching atmosphere of love of coming up on atmosphere of love so in the hour of temptation all we must do is be single minded focus on him follow the spirit no matter what people say This is atmosphere of love. Welcome to Love Embassy of All Nations, a Bible church and a leadership training center by Edmonds Okwara Day Ministries, EOM. We have seen many lives transformed. You are next for transformation. Our church is made Father, up of various the ministries, state of Israel, electronic and, and print media, church Israel. services, live Bible training sessions and also through our website, humanitarian outreach, helping the widows, widowers, aged and the needy, anti-suicide and success campaign, the annual love feast, world changers day and vision day. To get more information please refer to our brochure or log into our website www.loveembassy.in or www.okoroday.org. These are our monthly activities. Sunday morning worship service starts at 7:30 a.m. and 9:30 a.m. respectively. Wednesday Bible study starts at 6 p.m. Every first Sunday is our healing service, one combined service. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. is a general prayer, healing and deliverance service where we have the prayer line. 11 a.m. every second Saturday is our baptismal class. Every last Friday is our school of prayer where we come to learn, pray and intercede. 3 hours experience of real biblical prayer. And usually there will not be PhD on the following day which is Saturday. You can watch any time and from anywhere our TV programs. Free monthly DVDs, teach all nations TV report, short movies and <laughs> and more on the internet by subscribing to our YouTube channel Teach All Nations. Love Embassy of All Nations, ministering God's love in a hurting world. Now let's join Prophetess Joanna Okorade as she ministers God's love in a hurting world. Joseph, he doesn't have anything. He was given to become the prime minister of a foreign land. He didn't have. He was in the prison, a slave of another country. They brought him slave. He's in the prison. There he became. He became. He was given to become the prime minister of a nation. Was he faithful to God? Hmm. When he became first, there was a test. The Pharaoh's wife came for him, offering herself to him. Uh, sorry for Potiphar offering herself to him what did joseph do hmm ran will you run if i swear or i comes up this <laughs> 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 will come to you because you got a big position huh you have to answer yourself because i don't know the deep desires in your heart you might have desired that i want to marry someone <laughs> who is like an actress you know <laughs> so it will come to you what you desire will come to you that's what i said in james next uh, session i'm going to show you how your heart attracts test and how your desires makes you who you are either you win or lose is you it's your heart we will see so many men of god you know in the bible they have to become so if you are tested today you must become Daniel he was given the king's meal everything Daniel and his three friends what happened they were tested to bow down and worship and they stood today because we have all those that they went through we are able to stand because we see someone become and we are able to become because we see them become right very interesting right that's what so don't in the time of test don't take it negatively be affected talk 
Use your own mouth to break your life. Instead, construct your life by the word of God. Stand with the word. Stand with the word. Never fear. God teaches principles. That is what I call it as lessons. In our experiences, the main key I had was to be spiritual minded. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Then God showed me. I said, Lord, how should I be in this situation? What should I do? What should I say? Then God showed me, be like Jesus. Be like Jesus. I said, how to be like Jesus? Okay, fine. He said he, did, he was like a lamb. He did not open his mouth. He didn't speak anything. But God was making me speak some things <laughs> that time. So I was just quiet. And all I knew was the final decision. This is a beautiful thing I'm sharing with you. The final thing was, in my spirit, I knew that I have to die to myself that day. So I decided to die to myself. How? How do you die to yourself for the sake of everybody? How do you die? And that is what Jesus taught me. So I have to die. But how to do? Then in my spirit, I knew and God told me that take all the wrongs upon yourself. Accept it. Then I understood why Jesus accepted the whole sin of the world upon himself. He took it on himself. It settled every strife. It cancels all the case. When two defending parties are there, the case goes on, right? When one party withdraw the case, is stopped. No matter the how much the other one is jumping up and down, up and down, up and down, it's closed. And if this one says what he says and accuse about me is true, I am the one. You don't know the beauty of death. That day I understood the beauty of death, of what Bible says, to sacrifice yourself and to die for yourself. So I said a declaration that day when I understood this. I said, OK, fine. Whatever anybody has spoken, I've accused or whatever is true, I am the one. I have the one who caused all these things. I take it upon myself and it is finished. This is what I said. You see, the atmosphere just, everything died. Everybody were satisfied. Oh, finally, she has agreed, thinking it was me. Wow, the beauty, the beauty of death is so wonderful, it's inexpressible in words. Jesus enjoyed dying for the world. I can say it boldly, because I know what it is to give up on yourself and accept others as how they are. We preach, we say to one another, love one another, give up, accept one another. How do you accept one another? If they start poking about your character, will you take it? No one will take it. You are like this, you are like that. No one will take it. Everyone will defend themselves. After that, that's why when you people have challenge, when some of you will come to me, I say, leave it, forget it. Why are you bothered? Kill yourself <laughs> in a situation. I am the one who did it. I am the one who is wrong. After the whole thing, after it was declared and said, you know what happened? I said, finally, I said, if God has called me, I, if he truly called me as a prophet, because I have spoken these words, he will resurrect me. I became so peaceful, so calm, no shaking. I knew my will was one with God's will. You think when God proves you, you are correct. If God did not prove you, you are wrong. Pe that's what people accuse you. You said like this, you prophesied like this, it didn't happen. It happened opposite. So, you are the reason. OK, fine, I am the reason. And when God is with you, he will prove. So I said, if God has truly called me to be a prophet, Father, you will rise me, you will resurrect me like you did to Jesus. And I left. I knew in my spirit, peace, absolute peace. And everywhere, every strife, every chick -chick -chick -chick, whatever was going on, the devil was doing against all our people, stopped. People were able to start slowly thinking rightly. When someone dies, no law can raise a case against the dead person. The case must close. The judgment is 
close the case. That's all. And God, who stands with us, He knows to resurrect you. And everything becomes new. He glorifies Himself in every resurrection. There may be accusations upon your life. There may be challenges, situations in your life. Take it and let God prove Himself. Let Him be lifted high. Do you understand? This is how it is. These are the keys. These are the, these are the serious keys and, uh, that I'm sharing with you. That in life, if you follow these things, you really know and understand the heart of God. This is how the heart of the Father sees, and this is how He thinks, and this is how He acts. If you can, do it. He will make you able if you can decide to stand with Him. You will do daring things, but you can. Abraham, to give up his own son to sacrifice and go to kill with his own hands on the altar, is not easy, but it's daring. And when he did, God showed Himself. God proves Him. God proves you. He will stand with you. But when you are saying, I did not, I did not, I am not the one, I am not the one, she is the one, she is the one, he is the one, he is the one. The demon is with you, standing with you, finally to put everything on you, and you will never stand again. Because the principles, spiritual principles are like that. Once you offend, you have offended. You will bear the consequence in life and nobody can do anything. You can't do anything. It is like that. God will be with you after all what you have done. He will be with you. He will comfort you. He will provide for you. He will do everything. But the path you will take, oh, it's so difficult. No one can do anything. Principles, they work very seriously. Principles of God's Word. You will go through those things. Never be going, never go by emotions and situations. So many experiences, but no time to share. Already we are out of time. So, how Jesus proved himself in his situation in the hour, he said, in the hour, John 17, verse 3. The other day I showed you. He said, in the hour, when the hour came, is the way he prayed. as though he has finished the purpose. And in that hour is when he was so extremely grieved in his spirit. But how he spoke is very different. So I think next session, I will start with the scriptures that God showed me. First thing he showed me is to rejoice when the test come. Secondly, you don't fear when the test come and be spiritual minded. Thirdly, don't fear. If you fear, you will face the fear in you not about the enemy or situation. You, 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 the fear that you have, you will face in you. You will face it. We will see those things and we will see the scriptures that He gave, beautiful scriptures Jesus has already spoken. And when, when God spoke to me these scriptures, I just kept meditating on that scriptures and standing and I was able to stand and be strong to pass through this test. Able to come out, able to be you resurrected to be have a new identity with God, and with time you will see the fruit. You will see the fruit. So we'll we'll see that scriptures, and we will also see uh, James chapter one to end, and we'll close it in the next session. Are you learning something? So apply it when you are facing whatever you are facing. Apply it. Don't. Leave it. You are watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. Is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And he faced the things that we're facing, passed through the difficulties that we passed through, and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. 
And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human. Now let's join Prophetess Joanna Accorde as she ministers God's love in a hurting world. No matter how dry your situation is, He sees you because we are on the series on, on the hour of temptation, right? So we are on the series, the hour of temptation. So how is your hour of temptation been? How many of you are victorious? You have, oh wow! Wonderful. Praise God. You're able to overcome your situations. And today, I think at the end of the service, you have a good news from Jesus concerning your situations. Okay? So, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to end. Alpha and Omega. Easier. <laughs> I think he has to talk to you. <laughs> because I'm, I, my, my spirit is just, it's, it's bubbling. It's just bubbling. Thank you for stirring up the atmosphere. You know, that song, Bir Lahi. Can we just sing once again? And let's see what the Spirit of God has. So much is there and I want to finish this today. So can we just sing that song, Bir Lahi? And I tell you, as you hear the song and as we complete this message, I tell you, it's God that is going to sing for you now. And when He sings for you, I it is a prophetic word for you because when he says I have seen your situation and he says he has even seen you and you he causes you your eyes no matter how blind it is or how open it is today you will see God his the works of his hand you will see in your life whatever is stopping you whatever is delaying any situation that has been held up it's not working I today by the unction of the Spirit of God and God who is here is releasing that situation it must bow down because God has seen it I tell you again he has seen it he is seeing your situation and he, today he will cause you to see what he's going to do are you understanding me He's going to cause you to see your eyes will open to see what he's going to do it has begun this hour Whoever have been facing the hour of temptation and faithfully you are obeying his word and you are applying it in your situation, I tell you that is the end of your situation. I want to rebuke the demon who is coming to disturb my people. I want to stop him who creates strife in people, confusion in their heart. And that's what I said good news. I want to stop him. Because it is in the word of our mouth. We can stop it. I want to tell him, stop and get your hands out of my people. Let my people go. Let my people go. Because he who sees them has answered them. They have answered their cry. And I want the works of the hand of God to be revealed today in your situation.
whether you finish or in the service or after the service or day to come, days to come, you must see the hand of God. Everyone he here who is hearing the sound of my words, because I speak the words that has life and spirit, I release into your situation right now. And everyone who is hearing those words, I, you are subjected for your freedom. You are subjected to God's answer for your situation. Because I have released that answer. You must see the answer. Whatever situation you have come with that is in your heart a burden. The anointing that is upon me right now, I don't want to just stand and start teaching and be looking at me. I want you to open your heart and receive these words. As you receive these words and believe, no matter how tough the situation, no matter how many years you're not able to overcome that, I will subject you to overcome. Now it is time. You must overcome. I'm going to declare certain scriptures to you. When you receive it, you have the answer. No matter what it is. It may seem to be very tough on the face of this earth, but nothing is impossible with God. When His hand is upon you, nothing can be impossible. You understand? Please, come on. Come on, choir, the keyboard and the worship leader. This atmosphere is not a common atmosphere. I want every one of you to feel that atmosphere. You want to stand, stand. You want to pull out, you want to pull up, come out. Whatever you want, you can do. I want you to be free. Don't shy in the presence of God. You want to sit, sit. But make sure you want to lie down, lie down. I want in this today, today must be the end of that problem. It's a challenge between light and darkness. How many of you are ready to stand with me? It's a challenge. I'm standing for your kiss. It's your kiss. I'm standing for your kiss. It's a battle between the light and darkness. And when once his word comes, I can stand whether it's life or death. Because I know when his word comes, it is. And nothing can fail his word. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Thank you, Master, for your presence. Adonai, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Rohi. Yes, Lord, you are El Rohi. Adonai, you are El Shaddai. Nothing is impossible with you. El Rohi. You are El Rohi who sees. Yahweh. You are the El Rohi who sees. You are the Yahweh. You are the Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth. Everything must bow down at your name. Yes, you are the one. We are He, Yahweh. We are He, we are He, God. Open your situation. Open your case. Open the condition. I open the case file now. I open every case file now and present it to my Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh.
him. He ascends the angels of God at work. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, yes, Adonai. Nothing is impossible with you, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, I come to release it. We release that kiss. I call this service to be a testimony. Testimony of miracle of God's wondrous works of His hand. Oh, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. something in the new song you got something in the new song not be lahi the other one something in the new song because when I begin to sing the new song I hear God saying it is settled that song is an answer for your cry that song is the words that God is speaking to you it is a song of comfort I say Allah brother it means I comfort you be strengthened. I comfort you. Be strengthened. Stand strong. I am in your case and I have answered you. That's what it means. So when we're singing that song, I know God would have spoken to you in your heart something concerning this your This concludes situation. today's episode because of Atmosphere of Love. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. For more information, please visit our website www.ohoro.org or write us via email office at ohoro.org or call number plus 918147908731. Don't miss our next broadcast. Remember everything without love is nothing. Jesus is Lord.